Welcome to the Daily Race. So glad to have you here as we are uh, studying the book of Psalms. Uh, we're taking some time this week to walk through some of the Psalms, and today we're in Psalm number 77. And this is one of the Psalms that, as I was reading here, it just reminded me of, well, a sleepless night. Um, because, well, he talks about not being able to fall asleep. I, it wasn't a big jump. I, I'm not a big uh, poetic guy that, you know, I can go deep into all of the double, triple meanings of words and stuff like that. I, I, that's not me. Scientist background, remember? So it, it takes, for me to think of a sleepless night, it literally says sleepless night. Let, let, let me read it here. It says, I cry out, O oh God. Yes, I shout. Oh, that you would listen to me. When I was deep in trouble, I searched for the Lord. I prayed all, all night long. I prayed with hands lifted towards heaven, but my soul was not comforted. I think of God and I moan, overwhelmed with longing for his hope. When, when I was thinking of this, I, you know, is it one of those nights where you just can't sleep and you, your mind starts to wander and it goes negative? Or is are you struggling with something and you can't fall asleep because of that? Either way, uh, I think we've all had those those sleepless nights, uh, those thoughts that go through our head, um, that those frustrations, uh, burdens, uh, problems seem honestly bigger sometimes at night, right? When you don't have anyone to bounce them off, they're just rattling around your head. This is what I picture as it's going as uh, this psalm is going on. It says this, You don't let me sleep. I'm too distressed to even pray. I think of the good old days long since ended, when my nights were filled with joyful songs. I search my soul and ponder the difference now. And this is where I feel like I can find my mind wandering at night. I can find, you know, just un unrestrained... Uh, let me just read it. It says, Has the Lord rejected me forever? Will he ever be kind to me again? Is his unfailing love gone forever? Have his promises permanently failed? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he slammed the door on his compassion? These are some pretty extreme sentences. These are some pretty extreme thoughts, but I think we've all probably thought them sometimes. Like, is this the end? Is this the end of anything good that's ever gonna come into my life? Is it just negative from here on out? It isn't just pain and suffering from this point forward. In verse 10 it says, And then he said, This is my fate. The Most High has turned his hand against me. But, there, there's that word there. There's the transition word. I think this is a reminder that we can find ourselves going negative. Find ourselves uh, frustrated. That sleepless night where our, wander, our mind is going into just uh, super negative, super painful, unending thoughts. It says this, but then I recall all that you have done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty works. Well, what a great way to stop that train of thought. Now, nothing in this says that that pain went away, that those problems disappeared that all of a sudden everything was fine and dandy. No, no, that's, that's not what it's saying. But this runaway train that our mind is on, that things are bad and they're always gonna be bad and that you know God's done with this. No, no, no. We start to remember what God has done, what God's done in the past, what he's done in our past, what he's done in the past of others, what he's done in scripture. It, it helps us bring some perspective into it to remind us that God, God's not done with us. God's not done. He wasn't done with us back then when things were bad. He wasn't done with people back then when things went poor. No, God is faithful. God is true. God's going to come through in this. He's not giving up on us. A great reminder, this, this Psalm 77, on those sleepless nights, or maybe you could just be wide awake during the day, having one of those moments to pause and remember. Remember what God has done. Remember the good that he's done in your life and the lives of others. And that brings us back into some perspective. Life's still painful. We still go through difficult things. We have and we will. But, but God is faithful. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today and we just declare your faithfulness. God, I pray specifically for people that are, are just going through the ringer today. And maybe this last week or last month, they've just had trial after trial. And they've gone through conflict to conflict and bad situation to bad situation and they're at their wits end 
and they're, they're, some of these prayers, some of these questions here were, were on their thoughts today. God, we remember. We remember that you're faithful. Remember what you've done in the past, in our lives, in the lives of others, and the lives of, of your, the heroes of Scripture. People just like us, who you chose to, to work through and use, who had seasons of obedience and disobedience. God, you are faithful. And we just remember, remember that to bring us back to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. All right, well, hey, I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now right back here on The Daily Race. Love you guys.